All right, guys, here we go. Banner is up, and we are summoning. So I farmed out the forging bonds, and I got the tickets. So we're going to be able to do 135 orbs and then go for the spark. I'm going to hit every circle here because I want to get the maximum discounts. And also, the main thing that I want to get here is Yuri. I would say he's probably the top priority, followed by Moose Spell and Hoppy. I don't really care too much. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so we got our very first five star there. We got a plus speed Marita. That's basically as good as it gets. I'll go ahead and merge her into the other Marita that I have so I can just remove that minus attack bane. But anyway, like I was saying, the goal here is to get a copy of Yuri, Moose Spell, and Hoppy. And if I don't get a copy of Constance, I'm not going to be too fussed because even though she's great and she's got a lot of good fodder skills... I'm not really too interested in adding a Red Tome Flyer to my barracks right now. I think I have enough of those that are good. So definitely let me know in the comments section down below how you guys' summons are going on this banner. Let me know also which units you're trying to get. And if you're trying to go for a plus 10 merge, then also let me know which one of them you're going for. Oh, okay, there we go. So... We managed to cross one of the units off of my bucket list there. So we walked out with a copy of Hoppy. And we got plus res minus defense. You know, I'll take it. Plus res is probably her second best IVs behind plus attack. So definitely going to be able to make good use of Hoppy. I think she's probably comparable to Legendary Lulina. Because she has all this special cooldown reduction on her weapon. And then on top of that, you could just give her... Iceberg, Glacies, or a Blazing Special, and she's going to be able to hit really hard. Okay, I, dude, I really do not like the vibes of this damaged art here. She look a little too young to be <laughs> getting hit like that. But this art here, I think these are pretty fine, the attack arts. <laughs> dude, I'm about to get knocked on the door by the FBI for that damaged art. Okay, we got Norn there, whatever. Oh, I guess we could also say that I'm trying to get Balthus as well. Even though he's not a focus unit, any copies of him would be great because I'd love to go for the plus 10 on him. I really hate when they do that. They just add units on the banners and then <laughs> they don't even bother making them a focus hero. So it's going to be pretty hard to get merges for him. I remember the story of trying to get plus 10 on Echidna back when she was a really good merge project. I went like 900 orbs sniping green on Legendary Edelgard's banner. And I pulled one freaking copy of Echidna. It was pretty demoralizing. So, the 4 star and 3 star summons can be very difficult to get sometimes. You just gotta pray to your lucky gods and hope that you're able to get what you want. Okay, Matthew there, sure. We're just speeding through these summons, by the way, because I don't want this to go on for too long. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we managed to pull Constance there. I mean, I'll take it. I have nothing against Constance. And we pull plus HP minus defense. Like I said before, she is just stacked to the brim with all these good fodder skills. She's got attack and speed push four. She's got attack and speed far trace, which is really good. And then she has speed and res rain. So, all great skills, and she's a pretty solid unit herself. Too bad I'm not really interested in using her, so I might just fodder her off after I farm out the hero merit. I'll have to think about it. But we're, we're really trying to get Yuri here. Now, I fought Yuri in the story maps, and he was a pain in the ass with that plus one movement and the Kanto 2. It's just really hard to pin him down to a corner and just actually attack him. He's just flying around the map like Aladdin on his magic carpet. So Yuri is pretty annoying. I think he's going to be a fantastic unit for Aether Raids. You're free to give him Disarm Trap and then watch him just shred defense teams. The ranged Kanto 2 is also pretty clutch. I don't think we have any ranged units that have access to Kanto 2. Oh, okay, there's another 5 star there. Alright, so we managed to pull Sirius, which is pretty good because this guy has lull attack and speed. Could always go for some lull fodder skills. Alright, we are at 3%, well, 
<laughs> of course we are, because we just pulled a five star. This is going to be our final ticket. Oh, <laughs> dude, we're just swimming in five stars today. We got Brave Elliewood. That's really good after he got his refine. Man, this dude is awesome now. So, <laughs> CYL3 refines came around and... I really can't decide who I think had the best one of the batch. I'm always just going back and forth between Brave Camilla and... I think actually Brave Alm is slightly better than Elliewood. Because you can give him close call. Even though he doesn't get a trace skill, you can just give him close call. So he has damage reduction and it's almost like he has Canto 1 when he has that skill. So Brave Alm is really nuts. Okay, we got a fake out summon there. And we got ourselves a 5 star Nephany. So <laughs> I guess that's a shout out to the upcoming Hall of Forms where she's going to be in there. And we managed to pull plus speed. I think my Nephany is at like plus 4 or so. I'd have to double check. It's been a hot minute since I've actually used Nephany. But I always used her in Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. <laughs> the Sentinel class was so awesome. I really wish they would bring that back sometime. Okay, two fodder pulls there. I guess we'll go for the red ones because we have a chance at Moose Spell in here. Oh. Okay, there's another fake out. Man, what, how many 5 stars did we get today? This is like <laughs> the 6th 5 star, I think. Alright, so we pulled a copy of Owain there. <laughs> Owain, of course, a very popular child from Awakening. Plus attack IVs. I, I guess I'll just use him for blue flame fodder or something. Blue flame is actually kind of clutch with the safe skill armors. Because when they use safe skills, they're automatically adjacent to whoever they save. So blue flame or blue flame can actually add some good damage there. Okay, we managed to pull Balthus, which is nice. So they gave us a free five-star copy of him on the house, and then I just pulled a copy there. So that's two down and eight more to go. Man, it's gonna take a while to get him to plus ten. Oh man, oh. It doesn't look like we're going to get Yuri or Moose Spell by the time we go for the Spark, so... <laughs> Man, that's a tough choice. Who do I actually Spark then? <sighs> I think I have to go for Yuri. Oh, of course. Of course, it can't be a Tacho summoning video unless I have to pull a Drift Camilla in there. I could probably make her like plus 8 by this point with how many copies of her I've gotten. I don't know, she just always pops up every time I'm summoning. I'm sure you guys know the feel with some other unit that you guys try to summon. Okay, Benny, that's very good. Similar to Baltus, he also has a 185 BST. And you, you're free to give him save armor skills like far save or near save, whichever one you like more. And he's going to be pretty good. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Alright, so we pulled some hot fire. We got Fallen Ike, the man himself, my favorite unit in the game. He may not be as good as he was when he came out, but dude, is he still not badass? Wow, I... Honestly, I have no idea how the luck was this good today. Oh, for, yo, for a second, I thought that actually was Yuri. He looks so similar to this guy. Like, seriously, they look so alike. What the hell? Does he not look like Yuri, or am I... Am I tripping out or something? Oh, boy. Okay, well, we still have two more chances to get Yuri. All right, we got Chad there. Chad Warden. <laughs> okay, I'm showing my age with that reference. How many of you guys even know who Chad Warden is? <laughs> That's like YouTube in 2007, man. Oh my god. Alright, final green pull. There is nothing we can get here. Alright, so now we go for the spark and... Honestly, I think I have to go for Yuri. Even though I really, really want Moose Spell. I... Man, it's so tough. I was hoping to get at least one of them while we were going up to the spark, but... I guess because we got Hoppy, I can't really be too picky here. Yeah, so we are going to go for Yuri. 
I think just the combo of him having plus one move and then Kanto as well as that assist skill that's just bananas. This guy is definitely who I want to go for. And we get a Celestial Stone as well. So let's go ahead and lock him up. And I'll definitely put him to good use. So that's going to wrap us up for the summons here. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys were able to do. <laughs> I think I made out like a boss today. We pulled like 10 five stars or something. So <laughs> that was pretty nuts. Usually the summons don't go that well. But I'm pretty satisfied with how we did today. So this is your boy Tatro signing out. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I will catch y'all again on the flip side.